The company we now know as Aptera Motors Corporation was founded by former Illumina electrical engineer Steve Fambro in 2006 under the name Accelerated Composites. Aptera had a loyal following. At its peak, Aptera had over 3,000 customers who had left a deposit of $500 waiting for their vehicle. The Aptera had such a strong following that it had a cameo in the 2009 Star Trek reboot. Let's take a look at a history of Aptera Motors. The word Aptera is Greek for wingless, as the very aerodynamic vehicle design gave it a very similar look to an airplane, but without its wings. Shortly after the company was founded, Steve hired Chris Anthony as Chief Operating Officer. In mid-2006, the company announced that they had a three-wheeled hybrid car design that would travel over 330 miles on a single gallon. The prototype vehicle was to be a 12 horsepower, 4 kilowatt diesel engine and a 24 horsepower, 18 kilowatt DC motor. Later in 2006, Aptera agreed to participate in the upcoming Progressive Insurance Automotive XPRIZE. The XPRIZE was a set of competitions, programs and events designed to inspire a new generation of super efficient vehicles that would break America's addiction to oil and stem the effects of climate change. In March of 2007, the company announced their prototype car called the Type 1 during the TED conference. Earlier that year, the company had changed its name from Accelerated Composites to Aptera Motors. The body shape of the Type 1 was initially estimated to have a drag coefficient of about 0 0.06. This would give the Type 1 about four times less air resistance compared to the Tesla Model 3. This vehicle design would mean that less energy would be required to power the vehicle. Being only a three-wheeled vehicle meant the Aptera would be classified as an auto cycle, which would make it something more like a motorcycle than a car. This will be important for two reasons I'll get to in a minute. Being a three-wheeled vehicle meant that they could focus on efficiency and not have to worry about the regulatory and production costs associated with a four-wheel vehicle. At the same time, this meant that they did not have to conform to the safety requirements of a four-wheel vehicle. We, uh, we started out with three wheels because it actually was the most suitable platform uh, for the aerodynamic form and for two people. Uh, it does so happen that, that this vehicle is classified as a motorcycle, uh, but we haven't used that as an excuse to, to not integrate safety into the vehicle. In fact, many of the safety standards found in the Aptera are, are one and a half or two times stronger, uh, two times safer than what's specified by law in the FMBSS for passenger cars. For example, the roof crush strength, uh, the door crush strength. Uh, we have the same kind of airbag and seatbelt technology that you have in small aircraft nowadays. So it's a very safe small car. The advantage of being classified as a motorcycle is that your insurance costs and registration costs are lower. Hi, I'm Paul Wilbur, President and CEO of Aptera. Near the end of 2008, Paul Wilbur was brought on as CEO and Fambro stepped down and became the CTO. Shortly after that, they announced that the Type 1 would be receiving several design changes and would be renamed the Aptera 2E. In the same year, Aptera was able to raise $24 million from companies like Google, Idealab, eSunjay, the Simmons family, and the Beals Family Trust. At the time of the funding announcement, 
Aptera committed to start selling its car by the end of 2008. At this point in time, there were two vehicle options available, the 40,000 all-electric 2E and the $25,000 gasoline hybrid 2H. Shortly after Wilbur was hired, they announced that the vehicle would be delayed for another year. Early in 2009, Aptera Motors applied for the Advanced Technology Loan Program, but the loan was denied by the U.S. government. The denial was because the program only included four-wheeled vehicles. Aptera began talks with the U.S. government, and in October of 2009, the company reapplied for a $184 million loan. One month later in November, the company laid off most of its employees. Shortly after that, Fambro and Anthony both left Aptera. After Steve Fambro left Aptera, he went on and became the founder and CEO of Famgro, an innovative, profitable, and sustainable vertical farming business. Chris Anthony went on to be the founder and chairman of Flux Power, an advanced energy storage technology company. Finally, in 2010, came the XPRIZE competition. At that point, Aptera was highly favored to win the competition. However, about 20 laps in the vehicle overheated and was not able to complete the competition. On April 12, 2011, Aptera Motors started returning deposits to customers. By December of 2011, Aptera announced it was running out of money and was getting ready to close up shop. Around that time, Aptera stated that the Department of Energy offered them a $150 million low interest loan if the company was able to raise an equal amount from the private sector. However, when a New York Times reporter reached out to the Department of Energy, they failed to confirm any commitment to Aptera Motors. In 2012, Aptera Motors was purchased by a small Chinese EV company. In 2019, original founders Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony were able to buy back their IP and reformed Aptera as Aptera Motors Corp and began crowdfunding for the development and production of the new Aptera 3. In 2020, the newly reformed company announced it raised enough money to start production of the prototypes of the Aptera 3. While the future of the newly reformed Aptera is uncertain, it is clear that both Chris and Anthony have had success since and are as dedicated as ever to bring their dream into reality. To find out more information about this company, see the description below for links to their website.